one interesting stuff which caught my attention. You had your final in Australia on Sunday. It was ahead of the men's singles and you actually practiced with none other than Roger Federer. Surely you should claim some credit when you meet him next time. Uh, no, not at all. I mean, uh, he's a true champion. Uh, what he has done uh, is just truly exceptional. And uh, he's such a great guy, uh, you know, on and off the court. And I've known him for so uh, so long right now. And I've hit with him a few times. And uh, when Ivan Lubicic actually sent me a text the previous day asking whether I would like to, you know, hit with him uh, and practice with him, I was, uh, uh, you know, of course, uh, very, very happy. And I said uh, yes right away. I would be happy to, you know, practice with him. And uh, uh, not many uh, opportunities you get to, you know, uh, practice with someone who's uh, uh, a world-class champion and uh, who's just about to go and play the final the following day. And uh, I happened to be there at, the, uh, at that time and uh, it was a fun practice. I mean, we had a good practice uh, for an hour and uh, uh, I think I really enjoyed the practice. You'll enjoy the practice. You were practicing with Roger Federer. All of us, Rohan, had an emotional moment when he broke down after winning. Is that what makes uh, Federer great? Uh, just this humility of the man. What were both of you talking when you were practicing together on Saturday? I think we were just, uh, you know, sharing a few laughs and, uh, uh, you know, having fun out there, keeping as relaxed as possible. Uh, you know, uh, at the end of the day, uh, like I said, I've known him for such a long time and he's such a great guy. So I don't think uh, yeah, uh, there's any particular topic, uh, you know, we pick up. We, uh, anything, uh, you know, as we speak about uh, is always, is always uh, uh, something uh, very enjoyable and uh, a lot of fun. Like I said, I mean, he's, He's someone uh, who's very easy to get along with and uh, you know for him winning that 20th uh, Grand Slam is uh, truly truly special. The, it shows the amount of hard work he puts in everything, the commitment he has, the discipline he has and to uh, showcase that on court and also uh, at the prize distribution to come out and when he speaks he's so humble and uh, you know I think that truly makes him uh, you know exceptional champion. Yes, absolutely exceptional to win 20 men's singles Grand Slams title. But clearly, Rohan Federer is redefining the sport of men's singles tennis. Now, you do not have people winning Grand Slams at the age of 36. You just came back from Melbourne. It was pretty brutal conditions out there, very hot, very humid. Uh, Federer says he can't believe he defended his title. How special was this win? And what do players like you who are in the locker room, sharing the locker room with the great man, what do they have to say about Federer winning his 20th Slam title? I think everybody has uh, huge, huge respect for him, uh, you know, as an athlete and especially uh, for what he has achieved. Uh, and I think uh, the way he has been playing uh, the entire uh, year, starting from Hopman Cup, uh, you know, the form he has has in and also the way he started off playing in Australia, I think he was uh, definitely one of the favourites to win. And he, he proved that, uh, you know, getting to the final without losing a set, and of course, Marian Silic was playing ex exceptionally well, uh, you know, to take him to fi five sets. But that fifth set, again, he dominated uh, uh, really well. I mean, you know, re even at that uh, at that level, playing at uh, uh, you know Grand Slam final, he's in, he's been he's able to raise his game uh, one level higher, uh, which showed in that fifth set, and that made a difference, I think. And uh, um, I think uh, that's where it sets him apart uh, from, you know, most of the players out there.